this week. A new year means we'll see new digital banking innovations. Chase's head of digital sits down to talk his outlook for 2020. In a consumer's everyday life now, you can get your food delivered in an hour, you can get your shopping delivered same day. Why wouldn't consumers expect the same thing from their bank? A Dallas ice cream shop is also serving its employees, and Chase helped make that possible. Plus, Thomas Edison changed the world with the invention of the light bulb. We'll tell you how J.P. Morgan Chase is connected to one of history's biggest moments. Welcome to J.P. Morgan Chase News. I'm Kim Morton, reporting from New York. Digital technology, it is constantly evolving, and we expect to see even more developments as we inch into the new year. Chase's digital team is always working on new innovations that can help customers make the most of their money. For more on that, we'll send it over to Heather Burian. Especially as 5G networks and 5G-enabled devices continue to expand, what should we expect from digital banking in 2020? We have Bill Wallace, head of digital for Chase here. And Bill, in your outlook, you mentioned personalization and customization to deliver better products and services for the consumer. So what does that actually look like? Thanks for having me, first of all, Heather. And uh, personalization and customization fully enabled by 5G, so 5G-enabled phones, 5G-enabled networks, real-time AI as a service are really going to allow us to deliver something very unique for customers. So we want to provide you an insight about your financial life, about the way you're either spending or saving in our app in a way that's meaningful to you as an individual. And we're really excited about Chase Snapshot, and it's a way for us to deliver snackable, bite-sized insights something you wouldn't necessarily be able to find from your statement as an example in the mobile app. Can we talk a little bit about how banks are supposed to protect people's finances, they're supposed to protect people's money, but as a consumer, we need access to that information easily. So what is the industry and really what is Chase doing to make that easier for customers to have more control? Sure, uh, you know, principles are really simple at, at Chase as we see it, customer control and transparency. And we've delivered a set of APIs that enable third-party aggregators to be able to access our customer's information. But importantly, our customer has control. They will be able to turn that particular uh, third-party app and the flow of data to it on or off from inside the Chase mobile app. And we think that level of control is really important to consumers. Bill, you know this, as a consumer, we want information, we want everything immediately. So what do you expect to see in terms of real-time payments? Sure, real-time payments, uh, you think about in a consumer's everyday life now, you can get your food delivered in an hour, you can get your shopping delivered same day. Why wouldn't consumers expect the same thing from their bank? we've got to make sure that we keep pace on the real-time payment side. So things like Quick Pay with Zelle inside the Chase app allow our consumers to transfer funds to friends and family in real time. And then we are one of the leaders in real-time payments. It allows our wholesale clients to be able to deliver a bill directly through the real-time payments network to one of our consumers and it lands in the mobile app and they can pay it immediately. If you couple that with personalization, eventually we're gonna be able to make that payment directly on the consumer's behalf with just a set of rules, giving them more time back in their daily life. Bill, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Tom Landis is an entrepreneur who wondered if his restaurants could also serve his employees. In 2015, he opened Howdy Homemade, a Dallas ice cream shop staffed by young adults with special needs. They work the cash register, interact with customers, and learn retail and management skills. Like Coleman Jones, a vice president at Howdy Homemade. He and his team are also gaining important financial skills. Howdy Homemade ice cream has taught me to have a voice. Our employees don't like to be labeled, and neither do I. Howdy Homemade makes that possible. I believe that little guys can do big things. Chase helped get Howdy Homemade started by funding a $25,000 initial loan. 140 years ago this month, Thomas Edison successfully tested the light bulb. Did you know J.P. Morgan Chase's predecessor, Drexel Morgan & Company, banked Edison Electric Company? Drexel Morgan's Wall Street office was the first lit by Edison's central generating station, and J. Pierpont Morgan became the first person in New York to have lighting installed in his home. Later, Drexel Morgan arranged a merger for Edison's company, which is known today as General Electric. Now that's the power of a successful partnership. That wraps up this week's JP Morgan Chase News. I'm Kim Morton. We'll see you next week.